Good morning, class three. Today I'm going to start a new chapter, chapter two, GUI operating system. And this is your introduction part. Okay, children, I believe you have done your exam well, isn't it? And uh, so we have finished our first chapter. So let's start our second chapter. Uh, page number is seventeen. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about the operating system, how a computer works. A computer works with the help of an operating system. So first, I'll read for you, and then I'm going to explain you. In the previous chapter, you have learned that an operating system is a type of system software that runs the computer. It is a special set of program which manages the overall functioning of a computer system. Therefore, operating system handles all the input, process, and output tasks. In the absence of an operating system, a computer cannot function at all. An operating system is the key software or program that forms a link between a user and a computer. The software lets the user work with a computer. An operating system is commonly called OS. The full form of OS is operating system. And some examples are given here that are Unix, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows are some of the popular operating systems. So, children, here I'm going to explain you first what is an operating system. When we give command to a computer, when we first start the computer. It is an operating system which help our system to get started. Okay, so it is the most important part of a computer system. It is a program, or you can call it a software, which we cannot touch or we cannot see, but without which we cannot run a computer. It's like a soul in your body. If we do not have soul, are we alive? No, we are not alive. So we need a soul, but can we see the soul? We cannot see. Can we live? Uh, can we touch the soul? No, we cannot do. So it is very important to have a soul in our body to run a life. Without which, a life is a dead. Same ways in a computer also, an operating system is very important. Without an operating system, a, can, a computer cannot survive. It is the important part of a computer system. But it is only, uh, it is a program which we cannot touch or we cannot see. Okay, but it is the thing which help us to start up the computer system. When we first start, when we first, how do we start a computer? First we click, we switch on the main switch. Then we switch on the UPS, then the CPU. And as soon as we start the CPU, switch, we push the button of the CPU, the first thing that comes on a screen is the name of an operating system. If you have noticed, if you have computer or a laptop at home and when you start up the computer, the first thing that comes on the screen is the name of your operating system. Nowadays, we are using Windows as an operating system. There are many versions of Windows like the meaning of version is varieties. Like when you go for an ice cream, you get so lots of varieties of an ice cream you see in the market. Same ways, there are many versions of an operating systems that you can use. So the latest is Windows 10. You can see on the screen Windows 8, 7, 10, 12. There are many varieties which you can see on the screen. So that first thing that comes on the screen is the symbol and the name of, a, of an operating system. That means an operating system help us to start up a computer. Okay, and it is an operating system which, which sets up all the parts of the computer together to do its work. Okay, so without an operating system, we cannot run a computer system. And it is also a link between 
a user user means the person who is using this computer and the computer system like children i believe you all know that in our previous chapter also i told you computer do not understand a language that means computer does not understand either english hindi or any other languages Com computer only understand the language of a computer that is binary so it is an operating system which converts a language into a binary language and make the computer understand what we want okay it helps us to do our work okay it is a link between a user and a computer which help us to do the work together okay without operating system a computer is a dead box so children we are today i'm going to do only an introduction in my next class i will continue with the rest of the topic so thank you